This is the GPW 1000 released in the year 2014 which happened to be the biggest G-Shock watch at that time. Second biggest will be the Rangeman released in 2013. I still remember when this watch was released and I was like I'm never gonna buy this. I don't think I'm gonna be ever buying this at all because of how big it is. But later in 2015 I got it and I even make a video about this watch as well before. But that video is old and let's do this thing again. Besides, it came in different packaging now. Before this, you'll get a regular Japan box, a similar box that I believe every G-Shock came in similar box that look like this. Today, they'll look like this, which is much better. So the box matters. This watch is old, I know. What could it do for you today is very much the same. Still the same as what this thing could do for you. So I will say it is pretty much timeless in G-Shock sense. Not in terms of size and fashion and all, but the functions is timeless because it is simple. It tells time. That's it. But it tells a really, really accurate time that regular G-Shock just didn't have. I mean, I mean, those things at the back aren't regular G-Shock. I'm talking about regular, regular G-Shock like this one over here. The rest are very, very accurate, especially this range, man. Well, that's because both of these has GPS antenna built in, and that being this guy, this metal ring around here, DLC coded. The antenna for this model will be this metal on top. Look at how thick this metal is. It is DLC coded to prevent scratch and also long lasting, obviously. And in my opinion, this is the best GPS antenna I've ever seen on a G-Shock. Well, there's only two options. Uh, not really. There are actually three options. Let me bring in the upgrade for this GPW 1000. This is the GPW 2000. I haven't reviewed this one yet. Probably I'll make the video after, but if you look really closely, the antenna are the same. But the profile aren't really. It is a little bit smaller. This one was released in 2016 and three years after that, Cast released this. An upgrade to this one and GWRB1000 will be the reference number and it became a lot smaller than this guy. So it doesn't really matter how big the size is, I'm still gonna wear it at this point if you look at the back. I don't really care about the size anymore. Some of you guys does but I don't care. Just just stop it. Enough of the sizing. I don't care about those. I just wear because it is G-Shock and I know that Casio are making the watch smaller and smaller over time. Casio is minimizing the gap between all the Swiss watches and G-Shock. Soon they'll get smaller and smaller. At one point, you won't be able to tell the difference between the G-Shock and the uh, Swiss watch or regular Casio watch like this guy. Look at that. I have a Casio watch that it is small. It tells time, similar to this, but not as accurate because this is a regular Casio, but it does have compass. Check this out. Bam. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? I found these vintage watches. Quite a while ago, I'm not sure where, uh, how to share this to you guys, but it's pretty cool. And you could also rotate this uh, compass as well. <laughs> so cool. Okay, back to this watch. This guy didn't have any sensor. No compass, no thermometer reading, no barometer, no altimeter, no depth sensor, no step tracking, none of those. Just GPS antenna, wave sensor antenna, and that's it. And obviously dual time keeping. So the second display will be this window over here and the AM PM indicator for this window will be up here. So these two works simultaneously. Your main window will be obviously the big hands in there. Second hand are made out of carbon fiber, hands light weight and hands uh, vibration resistance. And the hour and minute hands are made out of metal aluminum most of the time. The index could glows in the dark, which looks great, almost similar as the one on the Modmaster model at the back, so you could probably have a rough idea how it would look like. One interesting thing about the watch is the LED light. Look at that. Fade in, fade out. Fade in, and fade out. Very, very cool. All the hands could glow in the dark, including all those index. You could see it glowing a little bit in this bright room. So. Very, very nice watch to be worn. And it is hard for me to admit this, but the loom on this Gravity Master is, in my opinion, a lot better compared to the one on this GWRB1000. Other than that, keep in mind, this one, this carbon monocoque model is times more superior compared to this GPW1000. 
Okay, other than that, what else that you could do with the watch? Hold on. If you press this button, mode button, and hold it, it will show you the battery indicator for the watch. So 12 will be full charge, at index number 2 will be full charge as well. If the hands move to 4, will be medium. And if the hands stop at 6, will be low power. So you're going to charge the watch. And the solar panel is located at the center. So that's really, really convenient since it is full analog. Calcium could utilize all those spaces at the background and use it as solar panel. Similar way how to make this. Um, I want you guys to notice one more thing. The uh, watch face design consists of carbon fiber uh, sheets, right? For this one, it is not carbon fiber, but it does have those carbon fiber pattern if you look really closely. It's just very, very cool in my opinion that Casio still uh, maintain the aesthetic of the uh, original Gravity Master and they still use it in uh, recent models. First function in the watch will bring you to SD. That means stopwatch. Press this upper right button and the hands will move like that. It's just very, very cool to look at. The hands, the second hand will act as the uh, 1 over 10, uh, 1 over 20 seconds precision and the stop dial down here will be for second and minute all the way to 24 minutes that's it for the stopwatch stop and reset this back to zero and move to next function called TR or countdown timer as being indicated with this hand in here in this mode press the upper right button and it will rotate backwards it has a range to 24 hours which is good and second will be over here minute will be over here hour will be that uh, window down there uh, stop and reset is back to zero. It will similarly as most full analog watch, which is cool. Uh, next function will be alarm. You could turn it on or off with that indicator on the side. Uh, I'll lift this button right on. This will be off. This will be on. This will be off. And you need to set the alarm with this window over here using this uh, crown, which is very easy to access. And I gotta say, it's very fun to play around with. Just pull it once. And now you could rotate this crown to set up the alarm. Look at that. Very, very nice. Very easy to lock and very easy to unlock as well. Unlike some uh, model we got today that is very hard to unlock. So pressing mode button again will bring you back to home time keeping. In here, you'll have day, date and time, dual display again, 24 hour time format, uh, day display, date display window in there, and that's pretty much it. If you press this button down here just once, it will tell you if the watch has successfully received the GPS signal just for time adjustment. Not GPS navigation, but just for time information. Keep in mind, this is just to tell or take time reading. If you press and hold it instead, the watch will begin with the time adjustment with the hands pointing to time. Let me zoom in there again. There you go, time. If you press this button and hold it for about oh, three seconds, right? It will go to time and then it will go to t plus p which means time and position so the watch will not begin uh, taking a data a position and time information from gps satellite which gonna take a while and it won't work if you are indoors it will drain a lot of battery as well so i don't want to do that uh, let's just proceed with the next thing about the watch about the construction i think if you own one of this it could last you a lifetime the watch band is carbon fiber inserted. Let me show you guys. Look at that carbon fiber sheets in there. The hands is carbon fiber. The body is fully guarded with this metal ring antenna over here. So it makes the whole piece a lot solid. It only have three button operation, making it really less prone for water to get inside. Although it does have 20 bar watts resistance, which is great. And if you look at the back plate, it, it does state a little bit more information about the watch, such as the sapphire glass, the front, it is not dome shape, it is flat now. Unlike this one that has curved sapphire glass, and that explains the high cost as well. Look at the back, it has this really unique aesthetic, very cool triple G resist symbol. GPW 1000 stainless steel back, fully made in Japan watch, global positioning system. Everything in the back is just so cool to like at. It's just, it's just gorgeous, just gorgeous. I mean, if you keep wearing the watch, you can see that it will leave a mark on your wrist. Look at that, that triple G resist mark will be left on your wrist. So yeah, it is very, very cool watch if you could afford this, but I'm sure you could, especially today, the price are getting lower for this basic one. I'm not sure about the high-end version, usually the price maintain. 
So if you're looking for one, get rid of way. This is how it look like. That is what you could expect. If you want to know how it works, the detailed tutorial, the function and all, I'm going to make a different video for that. But for now, you guys already seen how it look like. You guys already seen what it could do. And if you have anything, any questions left, just let me know down in the comment section. I'll try to answer back to you as soon as I can. If I know the answer, if I don't stand, don't. That's it. This is just chef. And out.